Hello everyone. This is your host, your friend, your text-to-speech narrator, Sally. Here with another exciting video. I will be subbing in for Jet today, so I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let me know how well I did in the comments section below. DC has recently been releasing a new digital comic every day. In our daily comic review series, we'll be reviewing the latest DC Digital First, brand new releases, each day they come out. Tonight's comic book review video is about Swamp Thing New Roots Issue 2. If you would like to purchase this book, and help support the channel, then please use the Amazon affiliate link, located in the description box below. First, I will give a summary of the book's plot. After that I will tell you my favorite part, and least favorite part of the book. I will then end the video by describing who I would recommend this book to. Now let us start with the summary. Swamp Thing is relaxing underwater in the swamp lands, forgetting about his troubles and contemplating what death must feel like, when he is disturbed by a fishing hook pulling at his back. Swamp Thing swims up to the surface to investigate, where he discovers a fishing boat. On the boat is an old man and a young woman. The old man is alarmed by the sudden appearance of Swamp Thing and he begins to have heart problems. Swamp Thing actually knows this old man, and he apologizes for scaring him. The old man thinks nothing of it, and invites Swamp Thing over for dinner. Later at dinner, the old man apologizes about eating corn on the cob. Swamp Thing mentions that everything is food for something else, and tells the old man not to apologize. Swamp Thing then casually mentions that his body is fertilized by human corpses. Robert arrives late for dinner. He apologizes for being out after dark, and says that he was late due to his new job. Swamp Thing tells Robert about how the old man had another heart episode. Robert asks what caused it, and Swamp Thing out of guilt asks if he should leave. The old man tells Swamp Thing to stay, and says that Swamp Thing is a member of the family. The old man comforts his children and tells them that when he does die, that they should remember the good times they've all shared. Swamp Thing returns to the swamp. Swamp Thing has successfully destroyed every food plant of Sunderland Foods that was producing the Terminus Seed. The Terminus Seed was a dangerous, genetically modified seed that threatened to destroy the world's food supply. Sunderland Foods now is 100% dedicated to hunting down and killing Swamp Thing, by any means necessary. Sunderland Foods have created humanoid pig creatures, that they have sent out to find and eliminate Swamp Thing. The people of the Swamp Lands now stay indoors after nightfall, to hide from the monstrosities that are hunting Swamp Thing. Later, Henriette, the old man's daughter, and Robert go to find Swamp Thing, and alert him that the old man has gone missing. Together they team up to find the old man. They find the old man dead in the swamp. The sight of his dead body scares Robert, who accidentally hits the gas and hits the old man's dead body with the boat. Robert is afraid that he might have killed the old man with the boat. Swamp Thing investigates and discovers that the old man died from a heart attack while fishing, and that he was already dead before Robert hit him with the boat. Swamp Thing is surprised to see Henriette and Robert laughing. They say that this is exactly how the old man would have wanted to die by giving them a scare and a laugh. They hold a funeral for the old man. Swamp Thing continues to contemplate the circle of life, what death must be like, and how life can be summed up as a scare and a laugh. Robert's new job is revealed to be as a Sunderland Foods security guard. Robert reports Swamp Thing's location to Sunderland Foods. End of summary. My favorite part was getting to learn more about Sunderland Foods and their plans for taking on Swamp Thing. I anticipate awesome fights between Swamp Thing and mutants, in the very near future. My least favorite part of the book was the lack of action. This book was very philosophical and weird. I would argue that fans could easily skip this issue, as not much happens to progress the story. I would recommend this book to fans of Swamp Thing, fans of contemplative, philosophical books, and fans of books about the meaning of life and death. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to smash that like button. Favorite, comment, subscribe and ding, 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 ring that notification bell, so that you can be notified whenever we do these videos. This is your host, your friend, your text-to-speech assistant, Sally, logging out.
Peace.